The Trailmakers gods have blessed us. Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome to another Trailmakers video, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new High Seas Expansion DLC. I am so, so pumped about this, guys. Just as a quick overview of it, we're getting a new map, four new islands, more than 100 hidden treasures, new locations, sail blocks for building, a new seed, even more blocks, and most notably, guys, we got a revamped physics system for weather, wind, and waves. I am so, so excited about this. So without further babbling, let's just get right into it and start checking it out. Oh man, look at this. I am so, so excited. Wow. Whoa, what are those tubes? Dear colleague, you have arrived at your destination. This Yo. planet is full of remains from lost civilizations. Please collect the remains and return them to the four delivery stations. Each has a color, blue, green, red, and yellow. The stations will appear as rings on your map as you encounter them. Also, please beware of the strong winds and waves in the area. Good luck. Oh man, this is so cool, guys. Look at that island. We still got chickens. We still got chickens. <laughs> Oh boy, can we see any other islands in the distance? Sort of, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, just look at the waves. We have waves now. Oh, come on. How can you not love this? Oh, the underwater looks really cool as well, man. Oh, I cannot wait to start building. So I was under the impression that this would be like a creative expansion, but it almost seems like there is a bit of a storyline to it, which is really, really cool. It seems like you have to collect components similar to how you have to do it in Stranded in Space, which, uh, which is pretty cool. I, I really like this. We got some piers here. Mystic blue statue. Floats on water. Interesting. You can carry this object by using the tractor beam. Tractor beam block? La what? Okay, we gotta check out all the new stuff, guys. Let's open up the builder. Huh, look at the fancy compass we have on our, uh, on our bottom left corner there. That's neat. Let's check out our little landing pod here. Now, I'm sure Scrapman's got me beat in terms of uh, hours played in Trailmakers, but man, having played Trailmakers for a while now, just seeing like a new setting and new textures, uh, it's just so cool, man. It doesn't even feel like the same game. I mean, obviously it does, but it's just uh, so cool. I'm so excited. All right, let's see if we can even get into here. Nope, well, we can, but that doesn't really do anything. So that's an interesting little contraption. Okay, well, let's check out the build menu and see what we can find that's new. Do you want to build this? I mean, sure. Mirror mode? What? Uh, uh, guys, I'm hyperventilating. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, man. Autofocus. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Aerodynamics, we've had that before. Autofocus probably just focuses on... I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Doesn't seem like we have all the parts right now. Auto build. Huh, what are these blocks? Got a little propeller? What? That's awesome. A little boat propeller? There they are. Perfect. Perfect. Now we have all the parts. All right, so what do we got in here? Oh, we got a crow's nest? Oh, we have to build a pirate ship, guys. I want to build a pirate ship. I want to build an airship. I want to build so much cool stuff now. This is awesome. Let's see if we got any new blocks. Nice, nice. Outboard boat engine. Very good. <laughs> that is excellent. Nice little small compact one. Oh, man. Building speedboats is going to be fun. Anything under lift and drag? Let's see. <gasps> Small modular square sail. Yes. Or what? Oh, God. I got to build a rowboat machine. I got to build. I got to write all this stuff down. One sec. I am so excited, guys. Triangular sail. Very good. So cool. All right. Let's check out the rest. Look at this, guys. We have a hull block. What? That is very cool. Basically a block that provides buoyancy in water and I guess has, you know, hull shaped like characteristics ish <laughs> looks good though i like it all right where's this tractor beam i need to see the tractor beam oh the tractor beam might be the magnet i mean it looks like the magnet right yeah i mean i don't see the magnet so i guess the tractor beam is the magnet now that's kind of cool what do we got in here what what a compass okay that is really cool I wonder if it has an output. Let's see if it has an output. We can maybe try using the compass to, like, n help navigate our ships? I don't know. We'll have to try that out. I'm really excited now. I mean, I was already excited, but now I'm extra excited. Tiki trophy, Viking trophy, volcano trophy, and a sub-zero trophy. Ooh, I think we're gonna have to go underwater, guys. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 
Show me the money. I think that's it, guys. If I miss something, you definitely let me know. Oh, sea shanty gramophone? Yes. A singing parrot? Heck yeah. Okay, that's cool, man. <laughs> that's neat. I gotta put up. I gotta put a parrot in all my stuff now. Love it. Alrighty, guys. Well, let's check out, I guess, this creation they made for us. Uh, maybe bring that artifact to that tube over there and then build something of our own. I'm really excited. Oh, boy. <laughs> the propeller sounds so funny. Okay, what's the tractor beam? There we go. Oh, they changed the tractor beam. They changed uh, the magnet animation. I like that. Okay. Bring it forward. Bring it forward. Are we floating? Very nice. Look at this. Wow, this thing's actually really stable and pretty quick with one propeller. I'm surprised. One of 35 artifacts. Very good. Got some gold for that. Excellent. Did we get anything else? Open map. Oh, there's a map. Right. We are here right now. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I guess I accidentally teleported there. Salvage. Ancient blue vase. Underwater. Well, that is... That is cool. Okay, well, I really want to try and build, like, a basic sailboat type deal, guys. So let's do that. Alrighty, guys, the hull is done. Man, this took way too long. <laughs> I, uh, I'm i not even fully happy with it, but uh, it's just hard to create, uh, you know, curved shapes with, uh, with straight edges, but that's okay. You know what? I take that back. I am actually pretty happy with this, <laughs> but I want to make sure that it floats before we do anything else. So let's do that. Let's give that a go. Okay. 
Okay, uh, are we nose heavy? Might be a little bit nose heavy, but that's okay, guys. We're actually floating. This is wicked. I gotta turn off seat controls, and uh, we should be good. I might need to add more buoyancy to the front, though. She's a little bit tippy, but she looks like she's tipping forward a little bit, bud. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's bring this thing back and let's let's keep building. That looks better, much better. Now we gotta start making this thing move, guys. Now I do want to put a rudder on it. Uh, simply because if we can't turn with the wind, I want to be able to turn with the rudder. So let's throw that on right now. I guess we'll use a large hinge because it's too wide. Perfect. Now for the actual rudder, I'm not sure what I want to use yet. I'm almost wondering if I should use the paddle, but the paddle doesn't really look like a rudder. So what do we do? Maybe a tail fin? That's a very big tail fin. <laughs> I'm almost wondering if maybe we can use the oar. Uh, probably not. But hey, why don't we give it a go? Let's give it a try. Have a double rudder there. And I'm going to quickly actually strap an engine onto this thing just to see if that turns the boat. I wonder if this automatically goes left and right. Let's, uh, let's see. We're not turning with the oars, guys. So I think we are actually going to have to use uh, something something different <laughs> to steer. What? What? There's like a hole in the water now? Crazy. Okay, so uh, clearly that doesn't work. Uh, we need to... Wait a second. No, because I don't want to cause drag. I was going to say, if I flip those oars, I might actually be able to achieve something. But I think we're just going to use some fins, you know? Let's see if this steers us. I think it does. But I think we're turning with the reaction controls, so that makes sense. Actually, one way to tell is to turn off the reaction controls once I put these fins back on. I mean, it's definitely turning, guys. That is kind of massive for the boat, but hey, let's give it a go. Honestly, it does not turn better than, than the small ones. So I think for the sake of, like, aesthetics, I'm just gonna do two little small ones. It's too bad there's no block that does, like, a two-to-one, you know? Have, like, a, basically, like, a two-by-one block, but one side has two attachment points, and the other side only has one attachment point that's centered around, uh, you know, the whole block. I think that'd be really neat. This works well, but uh, I still feel like they're just a little too big for this creation, you know? Let's just go with the small ones, guys. I'm spending way too much time working on the rudder. I still gotta put some sails on this thing, so let's get to it. Now, I know that sailboats technically do have, like, little diesel, uh, you know, outboards that they can use to, you know, put along in case there's no wind. So maybe I'll have to end up doing that, depending on what, like, the wind conditions are like. Uh, but for now... Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of these guys, put some more small tail fins on here, such as these ones, because they just, you know, are proportionally better for this creation. And we'll, uh, we'll start building up the sails, guys. There we go. There's my rudder. Perfect. And, uh, well, time to build the sails. I actually think I'm gonna move this back just a teeny bit. Now, for the sail, guys, I want to have one sail that is facing forward and one that's kind of like facing sideways that I can adjust uh, for turning. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't 100% know how sailboats work. When I was a Boy Scout, we did some day sailing. I flipped my sailboat a lot, okay? So, that wasn't fun. I mean, it was fun, but it was also kind of scary because we were just stranded in the middle of the water with our sailboat like capsized and trying to flip it over by standing on the keel and it was um it was fun but it was rough <laughs> so needless to say the point i'm trying to make is i have no clue what i'm doing okay so if i mess something up just you know feel free to let me know in the comments below so i think for the first one i'm gonna have one rotating servo here oh we don't want that and i want to use a triangular sail for that so let's go find a triangular sail okay we got a big boy here very nice and uh, how... Oh, tall? Big? Okay, and then what's the small one? Small one is like that. Okay, let's try using the small one first, guys. I mean, that's that seems reasonable, right? Okay, perfect. However, I need to make sure that it clears my... There you go. I, I think I have to be a little further back there. And we're actually going to move these guys forward one so we can move this over. Perfect. I really want that two to one block, guys. It would make my life so much easier. And then we need to build a pole that holds this whole thing up. I guess a mast. I did see a mast, guys. I totally forgot to mention it before uh, because I just overlooked it. But where are you? Come on, where are you? It's got to be somewhere in here. I think it's in the building blocks. Yeah, there it is. The mast. A mast for attaching sails to your ship. But this is like... 
a pirate ship mask, guys. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this for another build. I'm going to use just a regular tubing here, and that should be good enough for now. You know what? Let's just go all the way up. All the way up. Perfect. And we need an elbow piece. Alrighty, there we go. So that is going to be, I guess, our I'm gonna look this up. So I guess technically this is considered the main sail, guys. Now, I feel like since this is the main sail, maybe I should actually make this much bigger, you know? And then the front one, the spinnaker, I think that's how you say it, spinnaker. That guy's gonna be facing forward. So yeah, let's uh, let's use the bigger one for this one. Why not? Uh, that's way too big, but... I think that might be what we need. Oh boy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, the main sail is mounted up. Now we gotta do the spinnaker. I really hope I'm saying that right, cause it sounds like a funny word. And it sounds like it's easy to mess up, so hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> Now, I know there's different types of sailboat configurations, and you can actually have a, like a triangular head sail as well. Really, I just want to move with the power of the wind today, so I'm just going to build whatever, and uh, you know, you guys can always tell me what I did wrong in the comments. Alrighty, guys, I have no clue how this is going to go. I'll be fully honest with you. I mean, let's let's hop into it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Lower the sails! Lower the sails! <laughs> Lower the sails! I said. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so steering there. Perfect, perfect. Oh, we didn't put a compass on this thing, guys. Which way is the wind blowing, actually? Is that the... Is that what it shows us there on the... On the compass? The red symbol? I don't know what that is, guys. It looks like a windsock. That's what I think it is. So, let's see if we can actually maybe, uh... Get some forward movement here. Oh, boy. Is this sail just way too big? The sail just may be way too big, guys. Okay, well, I'm gonna try lowering it again. Okay, we're moving. We're not steering. Oh, boy. What if we lower the front one? Lower the front one, and let's see if we can steer that guy. I do not know how to operate a sailboat, guys. <laughs> okay, well, we're moving forward. Okay, we're moving forward faster now. I need to figure out how to adjust the sail. I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna lower the big one. And I'm just gonna flip sides. Okay, we're headed straight. Our rudder works. This is great. I do need to figure out how to control my main sail. I almost feel like that guy might be a little bit too big. But I guess we'll find out. Still a little bit nose heavy too. You know what? Let's quickly fix that up. Oh no. Low. Nope. Nope. Whew. The keel works. That's nice. <laughs> the keel works great. <laughs> Straighten us out. Flip the... Flip this guy to the other side. Okay, what if we lower it just a teeny bit? Oh. We're not dying. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Lower sail. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, this is fun, but it's tough. No, no, no. Could you not, man? Could you not? I mean, the spinnaker is doing a good job. <laughs> I want to go out into the ocean, into the waves. I want to experience the waves. We're still tipping forward. What's going on there? Very odd. Okay, I wonder if that's too big of a sail, guys. I almost wonder if that's just too big of a sail. Let's put on a smaller sail. All right, let's give this a go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Still tippy. Still a little bit tippy. Okay, let's control. Let's just control the spinnaker for now. You know, let's just control the spinnaker and go out into the ocean. This is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. I really want to figure out how to use the mainsail, though, without having it, you know, wreck my whole boat. I feel like I need to, like, readjust with the spinnaker for that, but I don't really know. Like, I'm I'm new, you know? So, oh, man, we're out in the waves now, guys. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Nope. Switch sail to the other side. Switch sail to the other side. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. This might actually work. Oh, no. We're going to capsize. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, there we go. This is cool. Just sailing along, guys. Sailing along. Oh, need to readjust for the wind. There we go. Look at that. That red symbol is 100% showing you which uh, which direction the wind is blowing in. So that's cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the weather just changed. This is about to get really stormy. Oh, look at that big wave. Look at that big wave. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it coming or is it just like... <laughs> it looks menacing, but it's not coming over here. Guys, this is so cool. I'm literally sailing simply by wind. This is one of the coolest updates this game could have gotten. I love it. Oh, the wind direction just changed, guys. We're basically stopped. We have to 
Oh, is that? A oh my gosh, they're whales. That's amazing. Okay, okay, well, we need to, uh, there we go. We got our sails in the wind now. Let's get the spinner crew going here. Oh no, oh no. Okay, well, the wind's blowing in that direction, so I feel like I have to switch my sail, my main sail. So let's flip that guy over. There we go. We're sail. Whoa. Let's sail to that, guys. I want to go to that. That's so cool. What is that? Oh, there's another island there? Going 30 kilometers an hour. I mean, I don't know which direction I'm going 30 kilometers an hour in, but I'm going 30 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That's so cool, man. What? Did I just hear a whale sound? That's so cool. Wow. Man, so much thought put into this update. I love it. Oh, what is that? We gotta go there. We gotta go there. Let's see what this thing right here is. I mean, really, I should just build a speedboat, right? But I really wanted to build a sailboat. What's going on? Is this a whirlpool? Am I? Oh, no. It's a whirlpool. It's gotta be a whirlpool, guys. That's terrifying. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's... I don't know, let's try and, like, head to it or something? Oh, gotta drop the sail and switch sides again. I almost want to go to the whirlpool and see where I end up. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Is it not gonna let me? Oh boy. We are 100% going into the whirlpool. Oh my goodness. What? This is scary, man. This is actually, like, terrifying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, drop all sails. Just drop all the sails. What is this? What? Okay, this is scary. This is actually kind of terrifying. There's like spikes? What are you? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, what is this? Is this like a sea monster? Oh no. Oh no. Rip. Rip, we didn't even go inside. We didn't even go inside. <laughs> that was the vortex. Oh my god, what? That's... <laughs> Guys, that is terrifying. I'm gonna have to figure out what's in... Huh? Wait, what? Where are we? Dude. Is this a spaceship above the water? I mean, it looks like it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. And there's the vortex. Oh. Rip. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on? This is terrifying. The vortex is freaking terrifying. Yeah, there's just a ship hovering over there. I'm gonna have to check that out. Wow. Okay, here we go again, guys. Into the vortex. Oh, jeez. What have I done? What's good? No. It keeps killing me. I want to go into the vortex. Well, you know what, guys? Maybe we'll go into the vortex in another episode. I will build a creation that is meant to go in there. And uh, we will figure out what exactly... You know, what kind of surprises that has in store for us. I want to go back. Can I go back? Can I just go back, like, here? Perfect. <laughs> I am so, so excited, guys, to keep checking out this new map. There's so much to do, so much to explore, uh, get all these artifacts. Just, ah, uh, my mind is racing, and I cannot wait to play this game more and make more episodes on it. I It's going to take all of the discipline that I have to not play it off camera, but I want to make sure that you guys get the experience as well. So we'll just have to see where this adventure takes us in the next episodes. And we are off again. <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. I had an absolute blast trying out this new update. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me some creation ideas. I've got a whole list of creations that I want to build with this new update that I'm absolutely stoked for. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, definitely keep an eye out for those videos. I'm, I'm really excited. But in any case, guys, if you did enjoy the video, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you liked it, make sure to click the like button. It helps the video be seen by other people. Go check out my merch on CosmoGear.com. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm just gonna keep sailing. I'm just gonna keep sailing along because this is way too much fun. This is cool, man. I'm getting pretty good at it. <laughs> sort of, I guess. Sort of.